with me, Spinning Sarah, and I just wanted to come to you and talk to you for a second. I'm going with a new video layout now, so we're going to look for some changes. Really quick changes don't, don't take a lot of your time. So I basically just wanted to come to you and tell you that today we're going to talk about how to start ply on the fly. And we're going to go through the steps of that. It's not going to take very long because I'm not going to show you the actual doing ply on the fly. It's just how to start that very first loop because that kind of tricks people. So I've had a request for that video. So without further ado, here we go. Here is a ball of commercial yarn that we're going to pretend is our singles. And we have a spindle here with its shaft. And we are going to pretend that this end of the yarn is the leader that we have already started. And I have a video on that, so if you need to find that video, just go back and look for how to start a leader on your Turkish spindle. All right, so with plying on the fly, you're taking one strand and tripling it and making it into a three-ply yarn, right? So how do you make one strand become three? Well, that's pretty simple. Your first strand is already caught in your spindle shaft. So you can either go around, make a loop, oops, hold your spindle and make a loop around the shaft and just pull up another loop. And the bigger you make your loops, the fewer bumps there are going to be in your yarn. And as you can see here, it started off as one. We made a loop around the shaft, and that then became the three. Here is our bend where you continually create chains. We have a half hitch around my spindle. And here is the loop for continuing to chain the single. So here's another loop. And then you always want to hang on to your loop so you can grab the single and pull more of your single through. So then all you do is just spin your spindle and you've created a three ply yarn. Now this is going to look terrible because this yarn is currently balanced and doesn't need to be spun anymore but it gives you the basic idea of what you're doing. So I want to show you another way that you can do it. Instead of going around the shaft and up between the arms like this, so instead of going around the shaft and up between the arms to make your loops, you can actually go and make a loop around the arm itself and pull the loop through this way and continue pulling your loops. Really how you do it is up to you. Just know that when you go to pull your arms out, you're probably going to have your f internal ball come out with it. So again, you can go pull a loop and make like a bunny ear just like you're going to tie your shoe. So make a bunny ear and you can go in between two arms and grab your single and pull it up and now you've made it three. Or you can hold your single and go around the arm and pull it up and continue making chains to make it a three. One more time. Hold in your single, go pull up a bunny ear, and go around the shaft and into the V of two of the arms, and pull up your loop. Or you can have your single go, or your bunny ear go directly into a loop, and go around an arm and pull up.
See how the one that goes around the arm has two going one way and one going the other, and that loops it around the arm. And then the one where you avoid the arms entirely and go just in between them. The loop goes around the shaft, but not around the arms. Okay, so that is everything. Um, if you guys have any questions or concerns, comments, please leave down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. And please tell me why you didn't like it and what I can do to make it better for you. Um, you can always find me on Ravelry. I'm Mrs. Flick there. And you can always um, shoot me a, a PM there and I try to answer them as quickly as possible. Um, so that's it for today and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!